my lovelies, welcome back to Rouge Park Beauty. Today I have the latest in beauty subscription box for you. Um, you know I subscribed to a couple of boxes in the past and initially it's always exciting and there's interesting products but over time the novelty wears off and often you open the box and there's maybe a couple of things you like and I just unsubscribe, it's just a waste of money. And I've been looking at various ones for several months now and nothing really caught my eye. And then I watched the lovely Mrs Dimples and she just signed up to the latest in beauty. Um, they do collaboration boxes, so you get one-off boxes and currently they've got the Beauty and the Beast, which has some great products in. It wasn't necessarily the Beauty and the Beast thing I liked, I liked the products, so I ordered that I can't show you it because it didn't arrive. The rest of my order did, no beauty box. So that's still ongoing with Latest in Beauty. I'm waiting to hear back from them on that. But I did sign up to their subscription box. Now, you have three options. I can't remember the price of all of them, but I will put a link to the site. You can have three products a month, six or nine. I went for the nine to start with, but the beauty is it's super flexible, so you can actually drop down or up whatever you fancy. Um, it's £18 a month for nine. The only difference is you get to choose the products. So it's not maybe as exciting as opening a box and not knowing what's in there, but at least you're getting things that you really want to try. Now they email you and let you know when your choices are due. If you don't choose anything, they will send you a box of however many products you signed up for, and they pick them from the profile that you fill out about your hair color, skin color, that kind of thing. Um, but I went for the nine to start with. I may drop that down as products drop in, but it's a good one. So thank you, Mrs. Dimples, for that. I'll put a link to uh, her blog. Right, let's start. Um, it came, I think this is just a one-off. Um, you don't get this every time, but it came in this very large canvas makeup bag, which I love and I will use. I like to sort of section my products off if I'm traveling. So skin care in one, makeup in the other, and this is a perfect size. And it says, be confident, be kind, be beautiful um, but really really good yes it will get a bit messy with powdered products but I like the size of that so I'll show you what I chose a number of the products that I've had before that I just like so it makes sense to get a smaller version most of them are sample sizes there are a couple of full size items as well but it varies it tells you the size on the website and the product choices change a lot i saw things added after i picked mine so let's begin um the first this is three um sachets in here and it's the alpha beta universal daily peel um, this is the original formula from Dennis Gross. I've used these before. If you like to use a fluid exfoliant, such as Pixi Glow Tonic, that kind of thing, it's the same principle, except these are sort of towelettes in sachets, but really good for taking away with you as well. So I chose those. Then Nooks, and I really like the brand, and everything I've ever had has been really good. And they've got the shower oil, with golden shimmer, cleanses and leaves a satin finish. And you just apply that um, in the shower. Use on damp skin and then rinse. I don't think you have to leave it on for a set amount of time, but um, I got one of those. I like sort of in shower products that just make it easier. And I hope it's nicely hydrating as well. Also from NUX, they have an overnight detox um anti-aging cream so i chose that to try i've not had a go with that and my third item from nooks just because i love it is the dry oil which i love using on my body that won't last long but i love it and i love the little baby bottle i think it's fabulous then um i chose some hydrating products this is an overnight hydrating therapy and it's from spa or e-spa um I just like to try different things and these are always handy if you're going away just to throw them in although I do tend to take my full size cleansing routine but often moisturizers and things I will take sample sizes I also got the fragrance from L'Occitane their Tiver um, fragrance that's an eau de toilette seven and a half mil love the packaging so I can't wait to try that I do like sort of green fresh fragrances 
Another product that I love, um, this is the Oskia Renaissance Mask in a very dinky little pot, which I may recycle, but uh, I do like the Oskia Mask, so I've got one of those. A full-size nail varnish, I've never heard of this brand, it's called Cheeky. Um, chat me up nail paint and this is in the shade tongue and cheek a sort of coral pinky red but I just wanted to try a different nail varnish brand and I like the colour I'm thinking spring summer already I do sometimes use emery boards to file my nails but inevitably I just cut them short I just find it easier for housework and gardening and typing and everything else I used to have my nails very long and I just don't know how I coped maybe when I lived at home, obviously I didn't have to clean as much, but um, I just find they get in the way and I do tend to just snip them off with nail scissors, but I want to try and sort of keep them at a reasonable length. And I know everybody always says crystal nail files are really, really good. They're sort of a lifelong lasting product and they're just gentle on the nails. And I've got a Margaret Dabbs one, so we'll see how it goes, but uh, I've never used a crystal nail file. I'm not sure how I feel about it really, but um, it kind of makes my teeth feel a bit clenchy. I don't know why, the texture of it. I'm just used to having the emery boards, but uh, I'm weird. That is the latest in beauty subscription box. Nine products um, for £18, and they obviously go down in value for the amount of products you have, but I'll put a link so you can read up on that. But I'm happy with it so far. Right. Thank you for joining me. I'll be back very, very soon. And I will come back on any of the products I've not used before to let you know what I think. Take care until then. Bye for now.